three electric power plants with the respective capacities of 20, 40, and 30 million kilowatt hours supply electricity to three cities. The maximum demands at the three cities are estimated as 30, 35, and 25 million kilowatt hour respectively. The price in bill per million kilowatt hour at the three cities is given in the table below. This is the cost matrix for a transmission of power from three plants to the three cities. During the month of June, there is a 20% increase in demand at each of the three cities, which can be met by the purchase of electricity from another network at a premium rate of 1,000 bill per million kilowatt hour. The network is not linked to CT1, however. The utility company wishes to determine the most economic plan for the distribution and purchase of additional energy. The questions are this. Question number one, construct an electric model and transportation tablet. Question number two, determine the initial feasible solution by using Northwest corner cell method and calculate the resulted total cost. Question number three, determine the cost of additional power purchase by each of the two cities. Let's start by constructing a network model. Network model is a model containing nodes for each source and destination and arcs for the routes from sources to destinations and to query information about transportation cost and amounts shipped. In constructing a network model, nodes representing the sources have to be arranged from top to bottom at the left-hand margin of the model. In this question, we have four sources, that's three power plants and the external network. The nodes of these four sources have to be arranged from top to bottom at this left-hand margin of the model. The supply from each source have to be written in the left hand of the nodes representing the source. Supply from plant 1 is 20 kilowatt hour, and from those of plant 2 and plant 3 respectively are 40 kilowatt hour and 30 kilowatt hour. The additional power to be purchased from the other network will be determined after calculating the total demand. The three cities which are designated as CT1, CT2, and CT3 have to be arranged from top to bottom at the right hand margin of the model. A 20% demand increment on months of June raises the estimated 30, 35, and 25 million kilowatt hours to 36, 42, and 30 million kilowatt hours respectively. This increase in demand can simply be calculated by adding 20% to the respective estimated amounts. The calculated demand has to be depicted to the right of the respective node. The demand of CT1 is 36 million kilowatt hour. CT2 is 42 million kilowatt hour and CT3 is 30 million kilowatt hour. Total demand is equal to 36 plus 42 plus 30, which is equal to 108 million kilowatt hour. Total supply from the three plants is equal to 20 plus 40 plus 30, which is equal to 90 million kilowatt hour. Total demand exceeds the total supply from the three plants by 18 million kilowatt hour which can be purchased from the other network and has to be written to the left of the node representing additional power source. The distribution of power from source to each destination is expressed by drawing an arrow or arc from a certain power to each city. Thus, we have to draw an arrow from plant one to each of the three cities, that's city one, city two, and city three. Cost for transporting one million kilowatt hour from plant one to each of the three cities which is given in table one above, has to be expressed on each arrow. So cost for transporting one million kilowatt hour from plant one to CT1 is 600 bill. Cost for transporting one million kilowatt hour from plant one to CT2 is 700 bill. Cost for transporting one million kilowatt hour from plant one to CT3 is 400 bill. Similarly, the distribution of electricity from plant two to each of the three cities can be shown by drawing an arrow from the plant to each city and unit distribution costs to city 1, city 2 and city 3 are given as 300, 320 and 350 respectively. Also, power transmission from plant 3 to the three cities can be expressed by drawing an arrow from plant 3 to each city and the respective unit distribution costs are 500, 480 and 450. It's given that external network is linked only to city 2 and city 3. Hence, an arrow has to be drawn from this external source to CT2 and CT3 only. The unit power transportation cost for each of this CT2 and CT3 is given as 1000 bill. This is a complete network model. Sometimes amount transported might be shown on each arc by using symbol, say amount transported from plant 1 to CT1 as X11 or Y11, 
or any other symbol. The other model we are asked to construct is a transportation tablet. In transportation tablet, each source node is represented by a row and destination node by a column. In this problem, we have four source nodes and three destination nodes. Hence, we start to construct a tablet by drawing a table having four rows and three columns. The name of each source has to be expressed to the left hand margin of the table as plant one, plant two, and plant three. And the external network, let's conveniently give the name as plant four. Supply of each source has to be expressed to the right hand margin of each row as supply of plant one is 20 million kilowatt hour. Supply of plant two is 40 million kilowatt hour. Supply of plant three is 30 million kilowatt hour. And supply of plant four or external network is 18 million kilowatt hours. Destinations have to be expressed at the top of the tablet as CT1, CT2, and CT3, and their respective demand at the bottom of the tablet as 36, 42, and 30 million kilowatt hours. Unit transportation costs from a certain plant to a particular destination can be obtained from the givens and has to be expressed in each cell. Since the external network is not linked to CT1, there is no unit transportation cost to be mentioned. Since no power is transported from this source to CT1, this is a complete transportation tablet which we will use to set initial feasible solution. The second question is about setting initial feasible solution by using Northwest Corner Cell method. Northwest Corner Cell method has a certain steps to be followed in determining initial feasible solution. The first step is select the Northwest Corner Cell and allocate as much flow as possible to the selected cell. Northwest Corner Cell is a cell at the top left corner of the tablet. The row at the top of the tablet is row 1 and column at the left is column 1. The cell at the intersection of column 1 and row 1 is the northwest corner cell. To determine the amount that has to be allocated to the selected cell, compare supply and demand corresponding to the selected cell, and then allocate the smaller one. Supply corresponding to the cell is 20, and demand corresponding to it is 36. Thus, allocate the smaller amount, that's 20, to the selected northwest corner cell, and then move to the next step. That's step two. Reduce row supply and column and demand by the amount allocated to the selected northwest corner cell. Row supply is 20, so 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. And column and demand is 36, so 36 minus the allocated amount, that's 20, is equal to 60. The rules after such deduction is that if all supply is consumed, reduce it to 0 and eliminate the corresponding row from further consideration by drawing a line through it. In this case, all the row supply is consumed, since row 1 has to be eliminated by drawing a line through it. The other rule is that if all the demand is fulfilled, reduce it to zero and eliminate the column from further consideration by drawing a line through it. Column and demand is not fulfilled, rather 16 million kilowatt hour is left unfulfilled. Step 3, repeat step 1 and step 2 until all demand and supply equal to zero. That is, select the northwest corner cell, allocate as much flow as possible to the selected northwest corner cell, reduce row supply and column and demand by the amount allocated to the selected cell, and then eliminate row with zero supply or column with zero demand from further considerations. The left hand cell below the row just crossed out is the next northwest corner cell. Supply corresponding to this cell is 40, and demand corresponding to it is 16. 16 is less than 40. Since it has to be allocated to the selected northwest corner cell. Reduction of 16 from the corresponding supply and demand will reduce the demand from 16 to 0 and supply from 40 to 24. Since demand is fulfilled or since it is reduced to 0, column 1 has to be deleted by drawing a line through it. When column 1 and row 1 are deleted, the active column at the left is column 2 and a row at the top is row 2. Thus, the next northwest corner cell is the one at the intersection of column 2 and row 2. Demand corresponding to this selected cell is 42, and supply corresponding to it is 24. The smaller amount, that's 24, has to be allocated to the selected northwest corner cell. Allocation of 24 to the selected cell will reduce supply from 24 to 0, and demand from 42 to 18. Supply from plant 2 is reduced to 0, since row 2 has to be crossed out by drawing a line through it. From the remaining four unlined cells, the northwest corner or the one at the left top is the cell at the intersection of column 2 and row 3. Demand corresponding to this cell is 18, and supply corresponding to it is 30. 
The smaller one is 18. So this 18 has to be allocated to the selected northwest corner cell. Detecting 18 from 18 gives 0, and detecting 18 from 30 gives 12. Since CT2 demand is fulfilled, column 2 has to be deleted by drawing a line through it. Only the two bottom cells of column 3 is left uncrossed out. From these cells, the upper one is the next northwest corner cell. Supply corresponding to this cell is 12, and demand corresponding to it is 30. Amount to be allocated to this cell is 12. Corresponding supply of the allocated cell is 12, so 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. And corresponding demand of the cell is 30. 30 minus 12 is equal to 18. Row 3 has to be eliminated by drawing a line through it, because plant 3 supply is already consumed. The southeast or the bottom right corner cell is the only cell left uncrossed out. Demand corresponding to this cell is equal to supply corresponding to it, which is equal to 18. Allocation of 18 to this cell reduces both demand and supply to zero. This is the initial feasible solution determined by using Northwest corner cell method. Resulted total cost is equal to 20 times 600 plus 16 times 300 plus 24 times 320 plus 18 times 480 plus 12 times 450, plus 18 times 1,000, 20 times 600 is 12,000, plus 16 times 300 is 4,800, plus 24 times 320 is 7,680, plus 18 times 480 is 8,640, plus 12 times 450 is 5,400, plus 18 times 1,000 is 18,000, the sum of these values gives 56,520. The solution is to determine the cost of additional power purchase. According to this feasible solution, only CT3 purchases 18 million kilowatt hour from external network. Thus, cost of additional power purchased by CT3 is equal to 18 times 1,000, which is equal to 18,000. That's all for this lesson. Have a nice time.